Cape Town, South Africa. One of my favorite cities in the entire world. I've been coming back here every year for the past seven years. This spot is world famous for its surf, which is what this video is going to be all about. So we're checking out the waves right now and they're actually pretty big but the speech is super long and it looks as if on the left the bigger sets are breaking and then on the right it's a bit more mellow are you scared julia yeah a little bit yeah because we usually only go here when it's like one foot like super small i think it's definitely doable though yeah let's get the boards okay so we just got lucky we're always renting our boards at lifestyle surf shop and they still have the nice long boards uh one's a nine nine two and the other one's a nine four and yeah, it's a pretty, pretty sweet longboard. So the surf was actually super fun, not too big, we got some fun waves and now we're having breakfast at one of my favorite, my favorite place in Muisenberg, but I think one of my favorite places in Cape Town, Harvest oh, yeah. Cafe. And they've got like one of the things I always look forward to when surfing in Muisenberg is having breakfast here because it's just so good. So I got this smoothie, it's so good, it's like um, cacao and peanut butter and stuff, it's like oh, so good, it's so creamy, it tastes like, I don't know, Nutella or something. And then I got these oats for the first time, which are caramel chia oats. They look really good. And what's also amazing here is the avocado toast. It's so good. Julia ordered it today, so I'm going to show you later. Um, but yeah, the avocado toast is so good. And they've got some really nice like raw bites and stuff. Juices, amazing. So I'm going to dig into this and then maybe we're going to go for a second session. We'll see. This is Julia's we avocado toast. It's called avo rose. They put the avo in this like rose shape. shape. And we've got some poached eggs on top. So poached, of course. And I just spilled something on my jeans and I just washed them yesterday and I'm very upset. I don't know. Anyway, I'm so excited to eat this because avocado is the creamiest avocado you're ever gonna have. Is this I don't the best know. Avocado toast well, in this Cape is Town? a big shock. No, my favorite is bootleggers, and we do know this, but this one is like second for sure because I think this it's just the avocado is so creamy and the, yeah and the avocado like the quality of the avocado I don't know where they get their avocado from but it's, I love it <laughs> hey guys so it's another gloomy day here in South Africa somehow we haven't been so lucky with the weather um, but today we're surfing at the beach in Komiki Komiki is like an hour away from Cape Town and we're surfing at a beach which is called Long Beach and this beach in winter like when the waves are good the waves get really big and like barreling but um, yeah it's pretty small today so Julia and I are gonna jump in and this is the board that we're gonna be surfing today this is actually my first ever surfboard that I bought in Cape Town when I started surfing like uh, when was this one two years ago two years ago and this board is it's like a really nice beginner board actually it's like eight foot and it's got quite a bit of volume it's like a minimal 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 boot that's what it's called and i actually left it here in cape town and since we couldn't bring our long boards and there's not really like a rental place close by here uh we're just using this board i mean it's not my favorite board in the world but it does the job oh my god have a look at the wax it's so no, disgusting it's like it's the other day so we're bad. surfing it and our friend was like what did you say about the he wax? He said he'll literally unwax it for us just because it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> gross. Um, so yeah, I need to put it on my wetsuit and then let's go.
surprisingly fun I didn't think um, it was gonna be that fun but I got a couple of nice ones and it was in the longest rides it was quite like dumpy but it was good fun and now in the end I think the tide got like too high so it doesn't really work anymore but it was so funny in the water I think I was like the oldest person in the water yeah, for sure. it was Grom Central in there like it was just like everyone was like 12 but they were so cute like super cute to watch them and they yeah, rip you know kids. like how old were they do you think like, i reckon they're like 12 like they just yeah, finished school like yeah maybe like 10 they just finished school they just got here on their bikes and like just went for a surf and it was so cute to watch them actually and i was like i have so much to learn from them because they yeah, rip like 10 times better yeah well for sure okay do you want to, can we please talk about the water temperature it's freezing Ooh. it is freezing because now we're not Wiesenberg is on the indian ocean side and now we're on the atlantic ocean side so it is freezing like most of the so time cold. you'll see me lying on the board just to get my feet out of the water and like you can't feel your hands anymore no, after a while booties you, I actually like I don't want to surf them, but I think they have to I think you look like a loser but you do need them here I think I went surfing in London the other day which is another beach I was the only person without booties in the water so I do reckon we should get I them I think you would also look really attractive with a hat Stop it. I reckon we should go check out the other spot that's like five minutes away and see if maybe we can catch a couple more waves there. So right now we're at a different spot. It's called Intercom and apparently the spot only works at high tide and when there is enough swell. And I actually checked it out yesterday and yesterday it looked kind of good but today I'm not too sure about it. I think, I don't know if it's because there's enough swell or because the tide's still not high enough but it doesn't look super fun and it looks a little bit difficult because there's some rocks here so I'm scared if I pop up I'm gonna end up on the rock but it's also kind of fast maybe if the tide's higher it's better but I'm not sure if we're gonna go in I only ended up catching one wave at intercom but I definitely want to come back here and surf again we then took Chapman's Peak Drive back from Conakee which is one of the most scenic drives in Cape Town Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. So I just wanted to sit down and chat to you a little bit more about surfing in Cape Town because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So I'm gonna be talking about things such as sharks, the cold water and where to surf. So first of all, for those of you that are new here, I'm like a beginner intermediate surfer. So my answers and my experience is going to reflect that. I've started surfing in 2019, which is three years ago. So yeah, I haven't been surfing for that long, but I absolutely love it. So in Cape Town, if you're an experienced surfer and you want really nice, glassy, big waves and the best time to go is in winter, I mean, it's the same in the Northern Hemisphere and Portugal, you also want to be going in winter. Um, just that, you know, in South Africa and Europe, winters are opposite. So when it's summer in Europe, it's going to be uh, winter in South Africa. So yeah, winter, the waves are going to be amazing, but they're also going to be rather big, which, um, you know, if you're a beginner intermediate, it's not what you're probably going to be looking for. My favorite time to surf in South Africa is going to be during spring or autumn. When we were there now, it was summer, so we're there in like November, December, which is not ideal because during summer it gets really windy, so you don't have very consistent surf. Like, you're going to be able to surf, but you're going to have a lot of days where it's just too windy to surf anywhere. So the next question, where to surf in Cape Town? So there are actually not many spots that are located directly in Cape Town, like where you'd stay. So most of the time you have to drive a little bit. Um, for example, one of my favorite spots in Cape Town is Muizenberg. It's a great spot for beginners, intermediates, or if you want a long board, it's a pretty mellow wave. Um, and from the city, you're gonna have to drive around like 40 minutes to get there. Um, another fun spot is Big Bay. Um, that's only 20 minutes from the city. It's also, yeah, can be nice if it's not too big. And the other spot that you saw us go to was Comic Key, Long Beach which um, gets pretty big in winter but when we were there it was like a fun size but it's also quite a drive it's like an hour from Cape Town and then we also did some small surf trips up the west coast there are lots of really really nice spots there but then again you're gonna be driving for like an hour at least so it's not like you're 
in like a town where you can just, you know, go down to the beach and surf. So when you're in Cape Town and you want to surf, I recommend getting a car just because it makes it a lot easier to go around and go to different spots because you're going to have to check the wind and the swell and kind of just coordinate from there and just drive to the spot that has the best waves that day. And something that always comes up when I talk about surfing in Cape Town and in South Africa is sharks, which I understand is um, something that, you know, people obviously connect with South Africa and surfing there. And the places that I surf at, or the places that you saw in this video, they aren't like super sharky. There are certain spots that are just like very, very sharky and I would never go surf there. Um, but the ones that we go to, they're not extremely sharky. Um, I think the sharkiest spot that I go to is probably Muizenberg. But then again, there's so many people in the water there. And I just think that the odds of a shark coming there and then the odds of the shark attacking me are just so low um, because there's just so many people in the water there usually and also in Moisenberg they have shark watchers so they will sit up on a cliff and they will watch the ocean to see if there's any sharks like moving around coming closer to the lineup they also use drones to check if there's like sharks in the water so I do feel pretty safe but I think it's just something that is always going to be in the back of your head when you're surfing in South Africa um it's kind of like the price you pay for being in the water there that you have that that little fear um so yeah i'm never like totally relaxed and chilled it's always kind of in my head but as i said before i don't go to any spots that are extremely sharky and i think like with anything else in life there's always like a risk that comes with doing certain things i mean even if you just get into your car and drive to your supermarket there's a risk that you can get into an accident and um well, that doesn't stop you from going to the supermarket. So in popular places like Muizenberg and Big Bay, it's quite easy to get boards. They've got like a couple ones to choose from. But honestly, if you're thinking about going to Cape Town for longer, I would just recommend buying a used board or a new board and then just reselling that at the end of your stay. So just check Facebook Marketplace or you could even buy a new board because surfboards are honestly a lot cheaper in South Africa compared to Europe. Next up, water temperature. This is not something that's on Cape Town's pro surf list because the water there is pretty cold. On the Indian Ocean side where Muizenberg is on, the water can get warm on some days in summer. There have been times where I've been surfing there in a spring suit and it has been fine, but usually you need a wetsuit. And then when you go to the other side, the Atlantic Ocean side, the water is freezing cold. So most of the time people will wear like a wetsuit they're gonna wear booties and they're gonna wear a hood um and we didn't have any of that we well we had a wetsuit we had our 4-3 wetsuit which we brought with us from europe um and that was fine but like towards the end of the session you'd be freezing like you couldn't feel your hands anymore or your feet so i think next time around i'm gonna go bring booties or buy them there because you really do need them it gets really really cold when we we're surfing the west coast and we got out of the water it was so cold i couldn't even take my wetsuit off because my hands were like frozen so yeah the water does get cold there and then there are two more like resources which i want to share with you about surfing in cape town one of them is like a surf community for girls it's called backline babes and it's so so awesome it's like a group of girls and they meet up to surf together so most of the time they'll go to Muizenberg but also there's some girls who live in like other parts of Cape Town and then they like link up and surf together which I think is so so awesome so if you're a girl and you want like a group of like-minded girls to surf with I highly recommend checking them out I'm gonna put their Instagram here and then you can just send them a DM and um, they've got like whatsapp groups where they organize everything so just send them a message and ask them to invite you really really cool community something else that I found really helpful uh, while surfing in Cape Town was lifestyle surf shop so that's like a surf shop where we also rent the boards from but they also do surf reports every morning um, from Muizenberg so there's a guy that will get up in the morning just film the surf and like talk about it and say okay today's a great day get out there or he'll say oh it's a bit small but you can go with the longboard and it's honestly so helpful because if you want to see what the surf looks like you don't even have to check out the report you just go on instagram watch his story in the morning and you know what the surf's going to be like there so definitely make sure to check that out as well surfing in cape town is so much fun but you have to be prepared to bear the cold and to do some driving to get to the different surf spots i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments if you want to see more surf related videos and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye bye